Good day, viewers. Welcome to the end of another week. Good day, viewers. Hang out. Time once more for Totally Fucked Up Friday. And look, not to sound repetitive, pretty much totally fucked up Australian government uh, uh, again. But new stuff. They, oh, look, we do want to revisit our, our good friend and greatest legal mind in this country. Dyson Hayden. He's our man. Queen's Counsel, the highest rank he can get in the legal profession, selected by Tony Abbott to head his Royal Commission slash witch hunt into unions. Tony Two Tonks knows his man. Mm. And he's been delivering exactly what he wants. And we brought this up before, right up to the point he uh, agreed to go to a fundraiser for the Liberal Party, which has this tiny little sort of conflict of interest going on. And after it became public, it was a bit, oh, not doing it. No, I don't. Uh, fundraiser? No. What? No, 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 no. I didn't know it was a fundraiser. I thought it was a, a butt plug. One of them, not don't, him, don't say that. but one of the Liberal Party actually said, oh, it wasn't much of a fundraiser. Right. Like, it was only 80 bucks a head. It's just like, cover the food, dude. It was like, brain explode that you can actually fucking say something like that. And believe that you can get away with it. I wasn't going real fast, officer. It's a 60 zone. Yeah. Come on, mate. 120, 60, what's Whatever. the difference? Come on, it's just fucking numbers, mate. Fucking hell. Man, has got to go yeah, dice. The pinnacle of this was when uh, the uh, various representatives of the unions uh, lodged an appeal saying, uh, we don't think you're fit to run this Royal Commission. What? He Pla decided the answer was to assess himself and decide whether he was worthy. Okay. Now, any sane person at this point is going, this is a train wreck. No, that's a train wreck. That's You're destroying your credibility. Totally. Um, shit is on fire, Dyson. Get out of the building. The smoke inhalation will kill you. Yeah, he's that dog in the cartoon sitting there in the room on fire going, this is fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're all good. I'm, I'm comfortable with things that are happening right now. It's a good thing a dog can't sweat. Yeah, and he actually did it. Any sane person would say, no, get out. Get because out. Because this, this whole sort of central... Record. Record. Yeah, you know, this, this Royal Commission, this is the centrepiece of what Abbott wanted to achieve, to rip on the unions, and you are destroying it. You are destroying its credibility. You get are out. burning it to the ground. <laughs> right? Not what did one. he do? What did he do? He judged himself. Yes. He found himself to be fucking awesome! Awesome! I am freaking awesome! So I was saying to my man Angry, right, that we should all do this, right? This is legal precedent. As, look, I'm not a lawyer, but, but I'm pretty sure this will hold up anywhere, okay? Oh, it will, it will. And I can see a scene in not far distant future where my eyes are pupils of the size of dinner plates and I'm talking to Constabulary going, ah, 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 I know that I am covered with feces and naked. I also realise that I've jumped through the plate glass window of a home convenience goods store and I do happen to have the float from the till attached to various different bleeding wounds on my body to staunch the blood. Uh, 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 uh. Thank you. And I have had a long hard look and smell at myself and officer, 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 I'm fine. Mm. I'm good. Let us all go back to our ways, till your fields, raise your children. And go in peace, my man. Yeah, that's legal precedent right there. A Guys Queen's Council. Dice can do it. Everyone can, can do, do it. it. <laughs> right? Everyone should do it. We Pay attention to the bit it. where I said I wasn't a lawyer, okay? Yeah. Don't actually do this. I'm, oh. We're like exaggerating for commit. He will. Oh. He, no, no, you can. Oh, I have. Yeah, <clears throat> you can. I'm just saying you out there. Okay, just because a Queen's Council... And AZ. ...judge themselves <laughs> and find themselves fine... X may not work for you. See, <laughs> I, I, I think... Your like, mileage may vary. Yeah. <laughs> your experience, may not, past success is no indicator of future <laughs> success. That's right. Okay? Mm. Uh, but if you have Tony Abbott on your side, maybe. Because it's clear Tony Abbott was in Dyson's ear saying, Stay there. He's on Stay the there. phone. He's Stay there. has gone on the blog. No, you're not moving. You're not going. Dyson's probably saying, This is freaking untenable. Fucking shit is on fire. I'm going to get it. No, Dice. You're hanging out. Two Tonks, the man, the captain, has told you. Yeah, another captain's call. Cool. Like, I'm pretty sure the majority 
majority of Abbott's party are going, this is fucked. But Abbott is either oblivious to the damage he's doing, or he thinks the personal damage to him is more important. Way more important than the government. Yeah. And so he's actually just done this colossal fuck up of saying, no, stay there. And... Uh, people are getting a bit tetchy, and they might get a bit more tetchy. There's a by-election coming up. In Western Australia. Mm. Previously, I say previously, safe Liberal seat. They had a 12% margin. That's a big margin. That's In an area that margin. likes to vote for the Liberal Party, mm. but everyone's only saying previously safe mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. They've just airdropped some guy in as the candidate. He's very dashing. You've got to admit he that. He's an ex-soldier. He looks good. He speaks well. He's not a fuckwit. But he's got a fuckwit pushing him in there with Tony Abbott. And uh, if this election goes badly, mm. and he wouldn't have to lose, it's conceivable he could lose, but he just a big enough swing so that all these other people with a smaller margin look at it and go, oh, I'm so fucked in the oh, next election. I'm so screwed in the next election. Tones, Tones, you're fucking me up here, yeah. bro. You've got to go. This is not conjecture, by the way. No. Because these guys have been calling the media off the record. On a daily basis. And say, no, no, if, if Canning goes bad, we're fucking dumping him. We're going to knife the prick. He's yeah. gone. He's gone for all money. So... Abbott is kind of desperate that this doesn't go terribly. Uh, so he's pushing. He's done like six personal appearances mm. with this freaking candidate, which is unheard of that mm. a sitting Prime Minister would be fucking, you know, arm in arm with the sitting of, of, of a by-election like every freaking day, you know, like give the man some campaigning space, dude. But interestingly, Labour aren't pushing that hard to the point rumours have circulated. They're deliberately tanking. They're deliberately throwing the election because they want it to be comfortable for Abbott because he's their best asset. That is mind-blowing. You wonder why we bring the shit about this government up so much besides the fact they're doing it to us. <laughs> really, we, really to us. Really. We are looking at a situation where there are more people in the opposition who want Tony Abbott to stay Prime Minister than there are in his own party. That's the reality that we're looking at now. Which is, which is, would be crazy, except in the general scheme of things as they stand at the moment in 2015, they really make sense. Yeah, yeah. But of course, Tones knows. He's on thin ice. He's been told 50 times he's on thin ice. He kept saying, no more captain's calls, no more off the cuff, all controlled. Uh, and he blew that every time within a week or so. Yeah. But now with this election campaign coming on and his head's on the chopping block... No more fuck-ups, nothing weird, nothing unnecessary, except for today. 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 Uh, and he's talking about his favourite, I'm going to scare you into voting for me, the evil Dersh death cult. The Morzos are coming to eat your children again. I'm the only one who can protect you. You're I right. personally rang the American president saying, could you kind of look like you asked me to get involved can so I play, look cool? Can we play it? Can we play it, Banks? Yeah. And this is... Bothers the shit out of me on so many levels that he's asked to be asked to join in a bombing run mm. because when they, him and other government ministers have been directly asked, well, why are you doing this? What's the end game? Who do you want to be in control? How they don't have an answer! How do we know we win? They don't know. They don't know. They that. have literally said, we just want to drop bombs on someone and we don't even have a fucking end game. It's just... No. Boom! <laughs> no. What the fuck? So Don't do that. That shit's going on, and to talk it up, Turns is going, oh, you, you, we've got to do something, because, you know, they're just killing people and setting them on fire in the streets. And he actually said the Nazis had... They were did terrible evil. But at least they had the sense of shame to try and hide it. Let's just think about when in the history since World War Two has a sentence started with, the Nazis were bad, but, but when has that ever gone well? When does, when do you, when is that good? It's and, not, not good is the answer. And, and crazily, shitloads of people have turned around to Tony Two Tonks Tones and said, you fucking idiots, stop belittling the experience of millions of murdered motherfuckers in World War Two. <laughs> uh, and it's like, look, no argument. Whoever and whatever the association, because it's not like you can literally point and say, that's ISIL, that's Islamic State, that's Daesh. They're 
doing that whole terrorist cell bullshit, and they're a bunch of fucking pricks, okay? There's no question, they are assholes, that's easy to say, easy to do. But just go worse than Hitler, and it's just like, you fucking idiot! Why? Okay, this whole talk about you. Oh, he's a Rhodes Scholar. He's not stupid. Then why can't he stop saying stupid things? It, what part of his brain doesn't work? Anyone, anyone should know. If you start a, a sentence with the Nazis weren't so bad when you can no, no, it's not going to work. And this, this is like, this is not just some random guy off the street. And no one trapped him into this. No one did the old gotcha. Tony, uh, are your Dersh death cult? Are they worse than the Nazis? That, or did no that, one did that. Did it happen? That just vomited out of his head with no provocation. He just made that shit up. He's created that in his own freaking brain. He's gone. What will I make today? Oh, I know an important point about Nazis. And this is who we're dealing with. I mean, yes, okay, he gives us material to use every week he comes up with something new. And we are grateful. But enough is enough. This is a person supposedly running a country. And basically when you're getting fucked up the arse that hard, tears are no longer lube.